The Steelers began their on-field preparation for the Ravens on Tuesday at the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex and did so without a handful of players taking part. Cornerback Joe Hayden knee, and running backs Jalen Samuels quad, and Trey Edmonds hamstring, didn't practice, the same with center Marquise Pouncey and guard David DeCastro, neither of them injury-related. Receiver Juju Smith-Schuster foot, quarterback Ben Roethlisberger quad, and defensive lineman Cameron Hayward ankle were all limited. Linebacker Jairwan Elliott, who missed the Jaguars game with an illness, returned to practice on Tuesday. Earlier in the day the team made multiple roster moves, including placing tight end Zach Gentry on the reserve injured list after he suffered a knee injury against the Jaguars on Sunday. The Ravens didn't practice on Tuesday and moved all of their meetings to remote. They placed three players on the reserve COVID-19 list on Monday. Quarterback Ben Roethlisberger popped up on the team's injury report with a quad injury that limited him. Defensive end Cam Hayward was also limited with an ankle issue. Usually, on a short week, it'd leave worry to see the Steelers' veteran leaders show up with limitations. Most week, however, Roethlisberger and Hayward do not practice during the team's first day on the field. Both spoke to the media on Tuesday and did not seem bothered by potential injuries. Readiness for Week 12 against the Baltimore Ravens appeared to be the mindset of both captains. Coach Tomlin has a plan that we will be ready for in terms of kind of a walk through today and tomorrow, Roethlisberger said. I probably won't throw many footballs this week. I think it's kind of one of those weeks where you don't need to throw a lot because you just played, you're coming off of a game and you have another physical game this week. Elsewhere, speaking before the next match, the Steelers are preparing to take on the Baltimore Ravens on Thanksgiving night, a special Thursday night football game that doesn't just have them playing in primetime, but also playing in the spotlight on a holiday. Ben Roethlisberger know what it means, especially taking a perfect 10-0 record into the game, while the Ravens are fighting at 6-4 and coming off two straight losses. It's AFC North, primetime, Thanksgiving, said Roethlisberger, who said with a short week he doesn't expect to throw this week. It's got all of the makings for a Steelers-Ravens matchup. It doesn't matter who's hurt, who's winning, who's losing. I think they have lost two in a row. I don't know this. Has a John Harbaugh-led Ravens team ever lost three in a row? I don't know this. We anticipate them coming in and we just have to give them our best shot. The answer to your question Ben is, yes, in 2018 the Ravens lost three in a row, including the third on being to the Steelers. This week is a new challenge for the Ravens, who announced on Monday that they placed running backs Mark Ingram II and J.K. Dobbins, and defensive tackle Brandon Williams on the reserve COVID-19 list. In addition, the Ravens cancelled practice on Tuesday and are strictly working remotely for meetings. Roethlisberger was asked about playing the Ravens under the circumstances on Thursday night, something he said is a part of life in 2020. This is just an unusual year when it comes to everything we have to do and everyone has to do, said Roethlisberger. We saw it early when it came to the Titans game and buys and all of those kinds of things. What are you going to do? You just have to do what they tell you and go play ball. There is a chance he will have the opportunity to play ball with another weapon at his disposal this week, tight end Vance McDonald. McDonald was activated from the reserve COVID-19 list and is scheduled to practice this week. Roethlisberger said having him back is definitely a boost. He epitomizes what it is to be an unselfish football player, said Roethlisberger of McDonald. It's good to have him back. That locker next to me has been vacant for a while. To see him in there today, to have him on the practice field, he's got more energy than the rest of us right now which is good to see. We're excited to get everybody back. Anybody that is out for a while with injury or this, to get them back on the field as a brother, as a guy we can use, we are excited for. The combination of having McDonald and Eric Ebron at tight end just adds to the multitude of weapons the Steelers have on an already explosive offense. He's another receiver if you will, said Roethlisberger of Ebron. You can move him around, you can put him outside, you can put him inside in the bunch, move the chains with him. You can use him late in the game where he caught his touchdown. You don't need a lot of receivers on the field because he is a de facto receiver. The fun thing about E is he is still growing in this offense because we didn't have the offseason in terms of minicamps and that stuff. I think we are still learning a lot about each other. Roethlisberger on his favorite memory from the Steelers-Ravens rivalry. 
I feel like a lot of them have come from the defensive side. Troy, Palomalu, jumping over piles, or one-handed interceptions. There was a home game, it might have been Troy's interception, and we watched film the next day and you couldn't even see the play because the camera was shaking so much because the stadium was rocking. To me that's what this rivalry is, that is what Heinz Field is, that is what makes our fans special. I can see that image in my head right now of the whole film shaking and not being able to see what is going on because the place is so excited.